What's up, world? I'm tired of looking at the world and wondering what I'm not doing about what I'm seeing. I'm tired of hoping and dreaming. I'm ready for something to happen. I'm ready to achieve my dream, and all I need is for everyone to hear what I have to say. I'm ready to be a light in this dark world. I want to be a spark that sets the fire. I'm ready for this race, so please listen with open ears and hearts. Society says, this is where we seem to get our opinions from, not ourselves. Society says you're a lesbian because you thought a girl was pretty. Society says, society says just because you like his body, you're gay. You are who you are, God makes no mistakes, but society does not allow you to believe that. Society says it's not okay to snitch on your best friend even if he's getting punched in the face. How come no one told about the girl getting jumped in the bathroom in Delaware? All because no one wanted to snitch? Now look where she is, dead. Society says it's okay for grooms to have strippers at the bachelor party. Society says it's okay to let your 10 year old child watch a PG-13 movie. But did society ever say America is in shambles? No, it doesn't let you know because it makes you believe the ground we stand on isn't trembling. It can't even begin to get great again if no one is willing to start. And once we do have people who start the positive trend, then we have to follow after their footsteps and go on our own paths. Like Jennifer Lawrence and the Lenny Letter, or Shane Bird calls nonprofit organization for disabled kids. But yet we make this world worse by the idiotic choices we make. But no one said that we couldn't try to make progress with the little seed of hope we do have. We can't reroute ourselves, but we can replan ourselves. Let that sink in. We can't reroute ourselves, but we can replan ourselves. Society cannot be destroyed because it's on a golden pedestal. But if we plant a mustard seed of hope, it can turn into a beautiful garden. So have you ever thought of it this way? That is, the devil says. The devil says it's okay to smoke or share nudes. The devil says it's okay to like and retweet a teenage girl twerking and then call, call the girl a hoe. The devil says it's okay to date your best friend's boyfriend as long as it stays hidden. Or the excuse is, as long as my parents don't know. Or as long as no one knows, it's okay. Newsflash, Jesus says everything done in the dark will indeed come to light. Everything. You better go do something about it now because your darkest sins will be uncovered. Nah, don't believe me. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, Chris Christie, all people we should be able to trust because they have a high position in government. And these are the people who are expected to make the right choices for our country. But they aren't the only ones who make mistakes. We can be feeble beings and still complain about the world. We cannot complain about the world if we aren't going to do anything about it because we are the world. And the best part about humans is that there always seems to be a speck of goodness in our heart. Even for the people who have lost hope beyond hope, there is still something in your heart that lets you live throughout the day. We all had goodness to start with, so finish what you started. Fan that spark so it turns into a flippin' inferno. Even the Grinch who stole Christmas had a dark heart but managed to find his happiness through his garbage life. Do you see this? We still have it. It is still here. So don't fall into the pit of darkness. Don't be the average person or that normal teen. Like that normal teen that died because of drugs. But why can't there be a new normal? Why? Society says? The devil says? Okay, a new normal. The new normal teen who made a speech to change the world is a heck of a lot better than a teen who lived for 16 years only to be a slave to drugs. Or the average person that grew up Normal life, went to college, got a job, a husband or a wife, family, and lived the American dream. Sounds nice, right? What's the point of an American dream if you can't live your life to the fullest? Then how about the average person who lived the Christian life and stuck to her faith and had hardships but never lost? They only learned. She built the strongest faith she ever could and is now hang gliding over Brazil or looking down from the Eiffel Tower. You could be that person. Even if you don't have a religion, hold on to hope for humanity. So you can be the one that has their own business and can say, I did that. Or is the one who's sending God's word all around the world. Or the one who's discovering the new cure for cancer. That's the new kind of normal I want to live. It should be the new kind of normal you want to live. Don't be someone like Hitler who dedicated his life to fight for something that was wrong. Unfortunately, he set an example showing us who we really can become. If we don't fight for God, we're fighting against him. Don't fight for what's wrong. If we're such rebellious teenagers, then why aren't we questioning the authority for the better good? Don't be that teen to ask your friends if he wants to light a joint just because you feel guilty about it yourself. Even if you don't feel guilty, don't ruin someone else's life because you've already ruined yours. It takes 10 times as long to put yourself back together than it does to fall apart. Don't lead the blind. Yes, Jesus said the blind leads the blind, but Jesus also let the blind see. 
Start doing what you say. Start doing what Jesus says. In the end, your enemy will be your footstool. You just have to accept the challenge. If Pokemon Go can get you off the couch, then imagine what a dream can do. Let me leave you with this. If we all turn our heads to the slightest degree to the left or the right, we would all see the world from a different angle. Yes, yellow is right, but don't live in the moment you're only going to regret. Thank you so much for listening.